Cleaners are the largest case type in Indiana, but the state does not reimburse counties for any work done on misdemeanor cases. As Fox 59's Hannah Adamson reports, several law experts are now working to change that. We know there's a looming crisis with this massive lawyer shortage in Indiana. Andrew Cullen with the Indiana Public Defender Commission says the state only has a third of the lawyers it needs. He also says 25 counties do not follow the commission's caseload standards. We're hearing they're taking as many as 900 cases a year, which is insane. At that point in time, it's just in simile line justice. To help curb the shortage, Cullen says the commission is asking the General Assembly to consider a misdemeanor pilot program. If approved, the commission would use funds it already has to help some counties pay misdemeanor attorney costs. We actually have a little bit of extra money that we think we could dedicate to this pilot program that will cost the state no additional funds. But we do need statutory authority to even do that. It's a no-brainer. Bernice Corley with the Indiana Public Defender Council says the pilot program could ease the burden to taxpayers and increase quality representation for those with misdemeanor charges. Shorter time spent pretrial in jail so they're not losing their job, custody of their kids, uh, getting behind in rent. That is certainly something we would be interested in participating in. Ray Casanova with the Mayor Marion County Public Defender Agency says a lack of misdemeanor funding is contributing to ongoing recruiting and retention issues. He says if the county is part of the program, it would be reimbursed an additional $1 million per year, potentially boosting salaries. We want to make sure that they have a salary that's competitive. Reporting in Indianapolis, Hannah Adamson, Fox 59 News. New